A league title on the line this afternoon and promotion tantalisingly close to. It could be a good afternoon in the sunshine for the final home game of the season for Plymouth Argyle. If all things go as Stephen Schumacher would like it to here today at Home Park. Promotion will be guaranteed with a win over the Vistas Burton Albion who have little but pride to play for in their final few games of the campaign. Well, the League One title can be secured if Ipswich lose and Argyle are victorious. Any slip-up, however, will open a door that Plymouth fans want firmly shut for both Ipswich and Sheffield Wednesday in the promotion race. It's a lovely linking ball to the top of the area. No way through, however, as Hughes stands his ground. Butcher gives it short, neatly worked in close quarters. And struck in the end by Danny Mayer, who just lashed a right boot at it. It's Callum Wright causing all the problems on this left side of the 18-yard box, and it falls to the number 10, Mayer. Just can't hit the target. It's the start, though, these home fans want to see. Exciting going forward and creating chances. Wilson rolls it forward. Cut out in the middle of the park. Powell sends it the other way. Scar doesn't deal with it at all, and there might be a chance for the visitors to spoil the party hit. Well smothered. Brilliant from James Wilson getting back to mop up the danger. Josh Walker does so well. Puts himself in a fantastic position. Just delays long enough to allow the Welshman to get back with the important challenge. Moments like this will send some shivers down the spines of those in green in this arena. Kept in by Mayer. He's on the charge down the left. No one's really tracking him either. Wright wants it back. He's in space. Mayer looks to go alone instead. The deflection caused all sorts of problems suddenly for Craig McGillifrey. And you just knew that Mayer was going to cut it onto that right boot, and when he did, he always fancied pulling the trigger. That deflection is such an awkward one. Good defending by Jasper Moon, too. Going to work it through the number 10 again. Mayer rounds one challenge, lays it off. Lovely check back by Mumber, but nothing in the finish. Well, they keep crafting, they keep opening up chances. Those in yellow standing strong. Is that off the crossbar and away in the end as Wilson was rising above everybody inside the box? to get on to that. I think actually the last touch is off Gillespie. Inches away from the opener. It's getting a little nervy now here. Pushing towards the interval. And this is certainly what the home fans didn't want to see. Burton getting themselves back into this game after being dormant for so long. Powell's effort charged down from close range. And Mayer and Co. Pushing the ball the other way, Ennis has support inside, plenty of defenders back, leaves one on the deck and tucks it home! Sweet, sweet relief at home park! Niall Ennis strikes, three and three, and right before half-time, the league leaders have the opener. Adam Randall with the block on the edge of his own 18-yard box. Moved up to Mayer, who just feeds it to the forward. And there's a lot to be done here. But he sends Sam Hughes sprawling and tucks it home in the near post. Pure jubilation and ecstasy. And a celebration we could be seeing for some time if that is the goal that seals promotion. It seems unlikely that 
The league title is going to be wrapped up today, considering the score at Ipswich, but Plymouth still want to keep hold of the promotion in the position they have themselves in. There's some more defending to be done, though, as it's going to be cleared away eventually by Mumba. The player down on the deck as well. Burton just starting to creep into life in this second half. It's a good ball in by Powell. The header blocked from close range, however, as Hughes trying to make amends for the error that led to the opener. Mayer. Seems to have been the starting point for everything positive for Plymouth today so far. Edwards. That's the return pass as well. May come across goal towards him. It did. Wright just couldn't pick him out. Edwards just slows slightly there and then picks back up with the pace of play. Just couldn't get a touch on that ball as it flashed across the six-yard box. And keep creating, however. Randall. Lovely delivery. Oh, and it's missed by Ennis. Didn't get the touch he was looking for. Tried to just steady it with the left boot, open up the instep and guide it home. Another second just to create a cushion. It's an excellent pass and the flag is staying down. Hardy pulls it back. Right block from close range. And almost everybody in this ground thought that was going to find the back of the net. Wonderful work by the substitute, Hardy, to pull it back to the waking right. Just on the second chance, couldn't get his angles sorted. I get the feeling at this point that Burton uh, almost turning into bystanders in this game. Their defence just hold out and prevent any more creeping past them. His right comes forward again, fancies his chances once more. And he's not getting closer. Not testing McGillivray with that one. Worked into the channel. The green and white shirts flooding forward again. Beautifully done in close quarters. Shout for a penalty, beaten away eventually by the Scottish goalkeeper. Carly Mumba brought down inside the box, but he just continued. Forcing a good stop at the near post too. It's a free header. And wasted by Scar, the follow-up from the edge of the area finds a way through. But is wide of the target. What an opportunity to finish this game off. Just not coming for them. Six minutes of stoppage time, the home fans don't like that. They almost like that, however. Well, if they can keep the ball at this end of the field, they'll be happy with the six minutes of stoppage time, especially if they can find that second goal. Rare pro forward as Charlie Kirk sends it into the area. There's a lot of pushing and shoving at that back post, and the header is wide of the target from Taylor. An attempt perhaps from Burton to rain on the almost inevitable parade here. Everybody wants the full time whistle. And it eventually comes. 20 home wins this season, a club record for Plymouth Argyle, but that pales in insignificance because the Sky Bet League One leaders seal promotion on home soil this afternoon. The league title will have to wait another week, but Plymouth Argyle are going back to the Sky Bet Championship for the first time since 2010.
a chance to celebrate in style. More champagne perhaps coming with a possible league title, but it finishes here in Plymouth 1. Burton Albion 0.